Well, hello, it's Miss Jessica again, and here is our very last ancient art review about Romans. Now, we are going to learn a lot about them, but what I want to make sure is that you guys are keeping some notes about these or watching these videos over and over again. Well, let's go ahead and learn about the last people, the Romans. Well, this is our last review for our Roman art. And let's go ahead and just jump right in with our who. Who were those two Romans we talked about? They were very, very important. The first one was Augustus, and he was a leader in the Roman culture. And the next one was Julius Caesar. Now, both of these guys were leaders as well as military leaders, too. Now, each one of these people did things that were very important to who we are today. So Augustus gave us highways, and that's like the streets that we drive on, and aqueducts. And remember, aqueducts was a big fancy word for uh, waterways. So think of your plumbing to how you get water into your house. So highways and aqueducts. And for Julius Caesar, the month of July was named after him. So those are the three facts that I'm going to have you guys remember. I might ask you, who was one of the people we learned about for Roman art? And you would say, Augustus. And then I could ask someone else, what are, are one of the things he gave us that we use today? And you would say, highways or aqueducts. All right, let's go ahead and learn about where. Where were the Romans? Where were they in the world? And they were located in Italy. Now, not modern day Italy. This was Italy from a very long time ago. So where were the Romans from? They were from Italy. Let's jump into the what. What did the Romans create? Now, the Romans created a lot of things, as you can see by the two people we just talked about. But some of the art that we want to think about are first sculptures. Sculptures are very important. We'll talk about those a little bit more in depth when we look at the image of our sculpture. The next one is architecture. The Romans built a lot of buildings. Two of the most famous buildings are the Colosseum and arches. Now, arches isn't a building, but arches is important to know. Um, that's what we focused on for our project when we created Roman art. But the Colosseum is a famous building, and arches are an important piece of architecture that they created. Now, their sculptures, let's go ahead and just dive back to that one real fast. They looked very realistic, which means they had a lot of flaws. And that was a very different type of sculpture than Greek art. All right, so let's review. Sculptures uh, for Romans were very realistic. They did, had a lot of flaws. Their architecture, they created different types of arches and used that in their building of the Colosseum. So those are the things that I will ask you guys about. Let's go ahead and take a uh, look here at some of the pictures of these things we just talked about. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at is our sculpture. Now, this sculpture is of a, definitely a leader. I'm not sure if it's exactly Augustus or Caesar, and that's not what I want us to focus on. I want us to focus on the face. Remember, the Romans wanted realistic flaws. So let me zoom in a little closer so you guys can see the flaws on his face. And by that, I just mean imperfections like wrinkles, or bags under the eyes, wrinkles around the face, and he looks old. Remember Greek sculpture we or you looked at, they all looked very young and fit, but this man is obviously older um, and therefore is definitely showing some of those flaws. Our next thing we're gonna talk about is the architecture. And maybe you remember this building, but this, oh, excuse me, this is the Colosseum. This was used for a lot of different events during the Roman times, uh, but this was a very important building to the Romans. And our last one to look at are arches. Now this one, let me zoom in for you because it's so tiny. But this is the arch that we talked about during class, the Arch of Constantine. I would like us to try to, rem to memorize that as best we can, but as long as you can remember that this is an arch, that is wonderful. This arch is also a part of the Colosseum, which is pretty cool to see. All right, so now we need to learn more about the why. Why did they create these things? And the number one only thing we're going to talk about is they showed power. That is very important to the Romans. They wanted their different buildings and their different statues to show their power and um, who they were as a city. And our last 
last one to talk about is how. How did they create all these different things? And they did a lot of sculptures, which they just carved. But what I want to talk about is their paintings they would have done. They had different types of brushes and different types of paint than we have today. Their brushes were made of wood. That seems like a really hard thing to use to paint with. And their paint was made out of plants. They couldn't just squeeze it out of a tube like we do today. They had to make their own paint. So their brushes were made of wood and their paint was made of plants. All right, well, I hope you guys learned a lot about the Romans. They did a lot for us that we have today. Now, this is our last one to talk about for ancient art. So go ahead and make sure you review all these videos multiple times. And my name is Miss Jessica. I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.